It is time! It's time for the light round. Okay, let's wrap up. Of course, one of the numbers here in the stock is saying bye bye bye. You're going to play the sound. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski that to the light round. Okay, let's start with Michael in Maryland. Michael! Jim, booyah! Booyah, Michael! Calling on origin materials. Hey, I'm wondering what's the disconnect here? We had well because it doesn't make any money. As soon as you start making money, we can start looking at these companies that are good for the environment. I like money and the environment. Environment first, except for when I'm right here. Let's go to Andy in Pennsylvania. Andy. Yo, Jim, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? So good, thanks. Listen, I have a question about Rivia. Now that it's gotten its production issues resolved and it's producing and delivering its vehicles. Do you think it's a good investment? I think or- Rivian's good. Now, my friend Sarah O'Brien just moved there as chief communications officer. She would not do that. She's got horse sense. I like Rivian. Let's go to Megan in Iowa. Megan. Hey, Dr. Kramer. Booyah. Booyah, Megan. So first, I have to tell you, I joined the investment club a little over a month ago. I was on the fence about joining, but just let me say, wow. Yes. If, there is anyone, <laughs> if there's anyone out there who's on the fence like I was, just make the leap. It is definitely uh-huh. worth it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, well, I got to tell you, I'm getting a lot of comments when I was in Iceland about the club. I mean, Iceland, that's like the end of the world, and yet they get the club. So thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways, I recently took over investing in my IRA, okay. and I am sitting on a lot of cash because everything is up so much. True. I am waiting for a pullback, but I wanted your opinion on a speculative play. It is a telecommunications company with customers in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. The company is called Orange, ticker symbol O R A N. Yeah, see, I'm worried about Orange. I see that 7% yield, and I said to myself, wow. That's up there with the Verizons, which I'm always worried about. However, I like your, I like your idea longer term. I think it's very good because they are one of the only games in town. I want to thank you for the great points about the club, and I'm glad we're working for you. And the fact that you called is just dynamite. I need to go to Dave in Illinois. Dave! Dr. Kramer, my mad Icelandic explorer. How are you, my friend? Well, I would say in Viking talk, yes, I'm good. That's how they speak like Jim, Jim, this Italian sports car company is valued on a par with Ford and GM and market capitalization. Up 50% on the year, it maintains margins around 50% and has a three and a half year delivery backlog. Jim, please update your thoughts on RACE. Dave, Ferrari is just amazing. What can I say? It is a true juggernaut. I don't know what to do other, I mean, it's, it's defied me because I always felt that on basis of price to earnings, it was too high. But they know what they're doing. They're in charge. The stock's been great since it came public, and it's winning over converts like me, and always great to hear your voice. Let's go to Yogini in New Jersey. Yogini. Hey, Jim. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, but you? Pretty good. Uh, I've been using Stockle AI to pick my stocks, and uh, well, Disney Company is number one right now. What do you think? Okay, I think this quarter is going to be a very tough quarter, and the movies weren't that good. I think the next quarter will be very tough, too. I think it's going to take a year. Why, therefore, am I own it, my terrible trust? You could say, well, because you're a complete idiot and moron, and I accept that sometimes. Only on Twitter, though, not on the new thing with the Facebook. They get rid of that stuff, but if Bob Iger will fix the problems. But the fact is, right now, it's not good. Let's go. I'm not done. Kidding me? Let's go to Hugo in Florida. Hugo. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Awesome. Great. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Mara, M-I-R-A, since the 10-year yield spiked out of control. What do you think about it? Well, I'll I'll tell you. Here's how I feel. I know people don't want to hear this, but I want an ETF, an ETF for, for Bitcoin, or I want to own Bitcoin. I don't want to own just companies that like own a lot of cryptocurrencies because I can't find out what they own. Not knocking them, I'm just saying I can't find out enough. Now, let's go to James in Florida. James. Hey, Kramer, I'd like to know what you think about Kraft Heinz Company, and I hope they you're having They have some of the worst day. brands I've ever seen. They are the bad brand company. I look at what they have to sell, and I say to myself, is this what America produces? 
Sorry to be so blunt. And that, ladies and gentlemen, conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, are investors being set up for a rough second half of the year? Kramer's dishing out his thoughts on where the market could be headed from here. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.